Greetings and welcome back to Switch to Linux. We are still half in the shadows. I feel like Two-Face two over here, but yeah, well, we'll get the lighting eventually figured out. Everything else is good. So, uh, you know, I started with the hard part. How do you get the green screen consistently working? That's solved. <laughs> All right. So, greetings, everybody. It says only seven people are on. Give it about another 10 seconds. It'll jump back a little bit more. But anyway... Today we're going to be talking about um, Facebook still hoarding itself a little bit of data. Um, but before we do that, let's go ahead and check in on the comments, see who is online. James Miller, hello. Noah videos, greetings. And Noah does Linux videos. What is Nextcloud? Nextcloud is a overall replacement for pretty much uh, Google, Dropbox, uh, You'd say Jitsi, um, the talk application is much more like Gips, Jitsi, uh, Google Docs or, you know, online, you know, Office Docs, whatever. It replaces all of that kind of stuff. Um, Mr. GFY, hello there. Dubadara, hello. Greetings, Yugo Master, what's up? Uh, just installed Bodhi Linux and now it is crazy. Hmm, yeah, Bodhi Linux can be crazy, all right. Uh, but it looks like Budgie is the desktop. No, it should be... Um, Bodhi run is, um, it's their own special desktop environment. It's based on enlightenment. I'm forgetting the name of it now. Um, uh, but anyway, uh, okay. If it doesn't work, just, yeah, just, just keep distro hopping. Is next cloud free? Yes, it is free, but you have to have an instance to host it. You can do a local instance, uh, installing it locally, but, uh, to, in order to do that, you really have to know how to set up a LAMP stack first, and uh, that's not exactly an easy task if you've never done it before. Uh, so you have to have a, a, a LAMP as Linux, Apache, uh, MySQL, and uh, PHP stack. It's called LAMP stack. There's LAMP and there's WAMP stacks. WAMP, a WAMP would be Windows and the rest of that. Um, and so you have to have an instance to host it um, and of course, if you do it on a local machine, it's only accessible in your local area. Mine is hosted on a, uh, on a server and I actually use, uh, a two hosting now. Um, so here's a link to a two hosting affiliate. Um, the thing about a two hosting, if you are getting the shared plan, they do not allow Nextcloud on their shared plans. I have a VPS since the VPS is, is metered. Um, you know, they don't care what you do with it as long as you know, you're not violating law. Um, you know what I don't know? Um, check SiteGround too. I use SiteGround. Uh, that's a good hosting company. They may allow it. I, I haven't read through their terms uh, in, as in-depthly, but check out those two companies there. Those are affiliate links I just dropped into the chat, and those are uh, places where you can go in and you can uh, pick up some hosting for it. Like I said, I, I know with A2 hosting, you need to be on a VPS um, to use it. I'm pretty sure SiteGround, they don't care, but I don't know. You'd want to read through everything. Um, of course, if you're just using a very, very small instance, um, I don't think it would much matter. They just want to avoid people utilizing it like people would use um, uh, like your Google backup servers and things, constantly having data going up and down. Uh, that's not good. But on a VPS, it doesn't matter as much because you're, you're paying for the space and the bandwidth. You're not utilizing some free uh, system with unlimited whatevers. Uh, Nova video is using Kubuntu. You go master is Linux Mint Mate <clears throat> and Peppermint 9. Very good. I still do my writing on Peppermint 7. Um, like Peppermint 7, didn't see a reason necessarily to upgrade. So keeping it. I do have LibreOffice uh, 6 on my Peppermint 7 though. <clears throat> All right. Yo, yes, I am still using Solace. Smash the heck out of that like button. Thank you, guys. Indeed, indeed. Joe Johnson, hello there. All right. Around 10 p.m. toss should be on. Oh, really? I have to wrap this up in an hour? Really? I don't want to wrap it up in an hour. I want to still toss as viewers. No. Uh, yeah, well, we'll see if we can wrap it up and all raid tosses stream. That'd be fun. Uh, herding the cat with Skittles into position. That's right. Yeah, he's been laying there for a, for about an hour now. So, all right. Maybe the fire screen will show up. Maybe, but we never know. 
Uh, if you are a uh, patron or Think Life Media supporter, then I posted the office tour of the whole place here now. You will see why I feel much more confident doing Tom on Fires here. Um, just take note of my amazing doorstop. We'll leave it at that. All right. Hello, Horace, and hello, KO2610. It's on Ear Twitch. He's playing possum. Yes, probably. Evening, Matthew Sorensen and Steven Anderson. Mr. Anderson. And hello there, Anna Rita. Uh, how are you feeling better? I am feeling better. I still got up earlier than I wanted to today. Um, today was the final, here are the keys, let's do the final walkthrough, and the apartment complex I was with has a reputation of screwing everybody out of their entire security deposit, so we cleaned the place with an inch of its life, I took a lot of HD video, walking through an entire checklist with a witness, and then I recorded the final walkthrough with the apartment manager, so I should be good, if we're not, they've lost their ever-loving mind. Um, so yeah, so I'm feeling a little bit better, but I did have to wake up way too early in the morning. Um, I just had to get up way too early in the morning to, uh, deal with all that. So I'm going to try and sleep a little earlier today and sleep tomorrow until the bed kicks me out. That's what I, what my plan is. Uh, and hello, Keegan, the Tennessean and Daniel greetings, Kyrie Holmes. Hello there. Switch links, send you two links about articles. One is fake news initiative. I think I read the fake news unless it's new. I read one of Mozilla's fake news articles a while back and yeah, I'd like to read that other one. I saw the email come through. I did not get a chance to read the articles yet. Did I move? Yes, I did. <clears throat> it says 28 people are on actually right now, 45 presently. Updating Paris. Hello, Thomas Holt. Good to see you as well. The kizzy is Kitty is cozy on a laptop bag. You need to buy a bed for it. Well, you know, I had kitty beds. And then they stopped using the kitty bed. And then they started using it again. And then they stopped using it again. And I just got rid of it after they stopped using it again. This place here, since it has all hardwood floors, I might try kitty beds again. Um, because otherwise the cat has been sleeping on the stairs and that's exciting because it's the only place with carpeting. Uh, Xiphoid process, talk, Xiphoid process, greetings, your hair is not green anymore. Now we are getting a lot better, uh, a lot better system with the green screen setup. So <clears throat> that's a bad shadow. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Paul, how are you? I have not seen you before. So greetings and hello. Everyone say greetings. Wish I could give up Facebook, but stuck with it because of friends and family. I just told my friends and family, you know what? I'm leaving Facebook. And, um, uh oh, my uh, OBS dipped down for a second there. All right, seems to be back. Um, and then, you know, if you're tech savvy enough, you can actually build a, there is entirely open source Facebook clones that are available that you could self host for your family. Those are things you could do. Um, let's see, I put two links in there, A2 hosting and uh, SiteGround. Oh, you know what? I think I put the wrong SiteGround host link in there. Um, I would didn't I was not I think it's no that is I think that is right I don't remember can't pay for any hosting yeah that's the problem if you want to mess around with um, if you want to mess around with uh, Nextcloud you're gonna have to you know repurpose a spare computer or something at home and play with it there if you do that there's actually an application I think it's called Zamp or something X A M P um, it's a Windows based application so you'd need to run it on a Windows computer. Um, there might be a Linux version, but basically you install that one application. It kind of does a full LAMP stack for, well, it's, it's a WAMP stack for you without really having to learn how to do a lot of it. That's an option you can try on super low budget. You would need a separate computer running some version of Windows, install that application, and then you can set up uh, the next cloud on top of that. Even that though, it would be hard. It would be hard for someone like you without a lot of experience to work it all out, but that's an option. <clears throat> and then of course, getting the documents, the talk applications, you would not be able to do those. Um, you need Docker, uh, terminal server management, and um, an extra hosting places. 
um, specific IP addresses and a lot of more stuff. I, I want to do some videos on that kind of stuff. I just, it's just been difficult finding the time. Peter Brown, greetings. Moksha, that's right. Thank you. Moksha, and it's based on enlightenment. OS Tech for you. Hello there, OS Tech for you. Greetings and greetings, Frost Ranger of the Frozen Realm. From Ubuntu machine, Windows free, 12 days now. Very good. Sup, pizza loving nerd. How's it going there? Michael, hello. I lost Michael. Where are you, Michael? Where'd you go? Michael, come back. Michael, come back. There you go. Uh, I have a Samsung wireless printer with CPUS running Linux Mint. I can print from Firefox and works perfectly, but from a PDF or read only file, it just prints pages with symbols on them. That is quite possibly a function of the software or something. Um, that has started to show up in a few different places. Um, and I have not gotten to the bottom of it <laughs> yet, but I've seen that before. Kyrie Holmes, greetings. <clears throat> you like the new place? I do. It is infinitely, infinitely, infinitely better than the old place. Way multiple infinitely is better. Um, I like have airflow and it's dry in here. It doesn't feel like you're walking into a sauna. Um, much nicer. Did I get caught up with sleep? Um, almost. Not entirely, but almost. So I'm going to buy a refurbished Pixel. Refurbished phones have replaced battery, right? Um, it depends on who refurbished it. Um, I, um... I have no problems ever buying refurbished. In fact, my replacement ne Nexus 5X, um, this was refurb, bought for $100, love it. I've had zero problem. And actually, I mean, if I'm not sitting here talking on the phone, um, initially when I first got everything installed on this version of Lineage, you know, I was having lower battery type stuff, uh, as some people had mentioned. Uh, but after I went through, toggled some settings and things, my battery right now, it has been, it, yesterday is when I charged it, like yesterday, or was it this morning? No, it was earlier this morning. So earlier this morning, I charged it. I've talked on the phone for about an hour or so, and I still have a full day and seven hours left. If I'm not talking on the phone or using it a lot, I have seen this battery on this refurbished phone last me three days. So um, I have no problem. Toss did not show up last Friday. Uh-oh, did he show up at all? I don't know. I have not watched anything for the last week. I am so behind on everything. I'm going to flash Resurrection Remix. Very good, very good. Cool. Do some video on that. That'd be awesome. Runaway Dodge. Greetings. Logan Graham, hello there. Playing around on my recycled server computer. It's the desktop now. So your notification. Very good. Thank you, Mandarin. Welcome, Daniel, if I didn't say hello. And Saddle Ridge, greetings to you. Saddle Ridge, I will get your package out probably by Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm still waiting for my copy of the book. And for some weird reason, I ordered it two days ago and it has not shipped yet. That is excessively rare. Um, so I don't know what's up with that. But anyway, starting to get acne on my forehead and in my nose. Dude, dude, dude. Uh-oh, it's starting. It's starting. We're going to start hearing, uh, hearing Pizza Love and Nerd's voice crack. <laughs> 55 watching now. Very good. All right, I'm going to uh, save the comments right there so we can jump on in because it's been about 15 minutes and we would really like to start the news rather than just the comments. But before we do that, oh, Kitty came up to say hi. Hello, everyone. I'm really liking my new place. It's cool. Yeah. You like your computer bag, too, don't you? Yeah? You like your computer bag? All right, I will attempt to find spot for you on the desk, Kitty, but I cannot guarantee that right now. All right. Uh, okay, well, I guess that kind of works. Um, just don't toggle my keyboard, Kitty. Toggle if not my keyboard. All right. So I have a fuzzy snake. All right. So now that we got the fuzzy snake here, we are going to go ahead and dive on into our privacy news. We're gonna do privacy. I have uh, three security articles and then I do some businessy articles. So first, let's go ahead and start in with privacy. So uh, you remember we talked about this situation uh, last week, I think it was either last week or two weeks ago. I don't know, last week's kind of fuzzy for me. I can't remember, I don't know why, um, but 
it turned out that Google was tracking a whole lot of location data, even when people had location services turned off and had not officially consented to it. Well, this seems to run afoul of the uh, California consent law. There's a specific name for that law. Um, and so this guy here um, formulated what could basically be a class action lawsuit um, I'm not sure if it's starting class action, but basically they're saying, hey, there are a whole lot of people that Google collected their data after they explicitly turned off location services data. So I don't know, you know, about 15, 20 years, we'll hear the final conclusion to this. By then, you know, Google may or may not still be a, a leading player in all this. We just don't know. So you know, uh, basically, even if it was there, Google says it didn't keep the data, but in reality, we found it's true that they were keeping the data. And so now they're getting sued. And um, this is the California Invasion of Privacy Act and the state's constitutional right to privacy. So they're saying that this runs a foul of this. It is seeking um, Android class and iPhone class. So yes, they are class action. Android class and iPhone class, class action lawsuits uh, in the United States for anybody who turns off location history and nevertheless had it recorded by Google. And so, yeah, that's an interesting thing. Just to keep in mind, you know, if you're looking to buy devices, make sure you're picking up devices that you do not absolutely have to be connected to the internet. Like my MP3 player, I don't want it connected to the internet, okay? I mean, suppose I even used it for something daily like podcasts. It is still not a problem to slide the thing into there, let it do its thing, slide it back out, and oh, shocking, I got my podcasts. I don't really need, um, I don't really need the, um, uh, the, the MP3 player to connect to the internet. Thank you very much. All right, this is from Reddit. Um, this kind of was found on Reddit. Uh, some engineers at Ars Technica verified this to be true. Pokemon Go, oh, please, Pokemon, stop, really. Um, Pokemon Go is now abusing its permissions to read internal storage to look for the files that are evidence of rooting and locking you out. So if you are rooting your phone utilizing Pokemon Go, you may not be able to play Pokemon Go. Now, any human being who would not root your phone who would want to for the express purpose of playing Pokemon Go, I hope that you get picked up in one of those big vans because you went in looking for a Pikachu. That's right. That's right. So basically, they, they are updating Pokemon Go to look for any evidence that a phone may be rooted. And if it is rooted, they will give you, I don't have a copy of the picture here. Basically, it gives you a copy of the picture. Um, and it just says that, hey, um, you, can't, uh, uh, you can't play the game right now. We think you're cheating. So simply rooting your phone on Pokemon Go, and, and, and maybe this is a tinfoil hattiness to this topic. However, look at what's going on here. We have a major game which is, has millions of followers, which is now preventing you from doing an action on your device that allows you to take control of your device. This is interesting. Very interesting indeed all right this is another case uh that is challenging the uh the um, uh, the fifth amendment and the inability to unlock a device so of course there's a few of these floating around right now uh people are trying to fight these types of things the longest known one is there is a guy who has not been charged with anything he's not been officially charged he is suspected of having some bad images on a hard drive that is encrypted. And he is simply incarcerated until he chooses to unlock it. 
because they believe that the information on that drive is going to incriminate them and he needs information he has in order to unlock it to incriminate him. And whether or not you agree with what he's doing or not, the point is, if they can't make the case without that, they obviously don't have a foregone conclusion. And that's the term they're using. They're using the term foregone conclusion, saying it is a foregone conclusion that the evidence that we have is in here. So we are requiring him to give up the pass key so that we can open up the drive to to pick up what we know for a fact is on there. Guys, not even science can give you facts. If you build a case without his cooperation, because that's how law enforcement has always worked, and that's how law enforcement is supposed to work, that we are supposed to have a situation where uh, the law enforcement needs to build a case against you without your cooperation. And this is just yet another case. In this case, it's, it's a hazing death. So, of course, this guy guzzled down, what is it, like 13 different... Uh, I, I was it 10 to 15 or so. No, it was, it was like 10 to 14 seconds of 190 proof alcohol being poured down his throat. Shocking. He died. I, yeah. Okay. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. I don't know if I want to go there or not, but anyway, so, so there's people in, involved in this hazing incident. Of course, they went to the Bible study. That was their code for their hazing meeting, um, where if they got trivia questions wrong, they had to guzzle, guzzle time from, from a power funnel of 190 proof alcohol. And these are the people going off to college to have their bright futures. Excuse me. You know what? I'm going to tell this story. I'm going to stop and tell this story. I'm not a drinker. I don't drink at all. I, I think the last, let's see. I think I had a sip of something, some whiskey or some, it wasn't whiskey, some alcohol or something. A friend of mine was from Sweden and brought over from Sweden. She's like, oh, try this. I tried a sip of it. And I was like, what's the big deal? It's, it tastes like nasty crap. Okay. Uh, beer. It's, it tastes like urine. Okay. And it's nasty. Um, I just don't drink at all, okay? Uh, I don't have any issues with people who do. I, I don't really care. But uh, I was out. I was at a bar. I don't know if my brother's watching the stream or not. I told him I was on. I don't know. But I was at a bar. I was like 21 years old, right? So we go out, I think, to a TGIF. So I get a little Long Island iced tea. I think I drank like this much off the top. It's like because I just don't drink. I just don't care. Go to this bar and um, now, mind you, I wasn't a believer at this point in time. And before being a Christian, I was about the rudest individual you'd ever know. So just an FYI. And, and I cussed like a dirty sailor also. It's kind of funny. Um, so we go out to this place and apparently my brother had known the bartender. And, and we are casually having a wine cooler. Okay, I'll drink a wine cooler every now and again, maybe. I don't know. I think it's been about a decade, but you know. So I'm drinking this. And his friend who's working in the bar comes over and brings a shot glass of Jack Daniels or something. I think it was Jack Daniels, some type of whiskey. And I look at it and I, you know, take a little, take a little lick of it. And like, yeah, yeah, that tastes gross. You know, I'm not going to drink that. You know, the wine cooler, that, that tastes okay. Okay, that tastes okay. So drink that, whatever. We casually have a wine cooler over the course of an hour. And, uh, and I leave this whiskey sitting there on the bar and we're going to go. And so his friend says, now, now my brothers want to see me messed up my whole life. And, uh, yeah, he never succeeded. Um, and I won't tell the other story there, but, uh, we're at this place and, uh, we go to walk out and, and, uh, and this, this girl says, my brother, he says, you know, you he didn't drink that whiskey. Make him drink that whiskey. You're his big brother. Make him drink that whiskey. My brother looks at her and says, if you can make him drink that, I will give you a million dollars. So she starts in her posture and, you know, I am the cool 21 year old woman working at the bar. I'm going to show you when I turn 20. She tells me the story. When I turned 21, my parents lined up 21 shots and I was allowed to leave until I drank them all. 
I looked at her and said, if you're so stupid to think you don't have control over what you put in your body, I'm glad I'm not as moronic as you. And I turned around and laughed. Okay, I don't have a lot of sympathy for a guy who takes a 15 second power funnel of 190 proof alcohol. I don't care. But yes, somebody died. Police got to get involved. They got to look into this. And this guy's smartphone is locked and he's not giving them the pass key. So anyway, the police are using this as yet another way to try and challenge this Fifth Amendment by simply, and they're just using this exact phrase, this, the evidence we need is a foregone conclusion on this phone, so we should have it. No, screw you, officer. You built your case without that device unless he willingly offers it. We don't need any more of these people not being charged, not being sentenced, spending their life in jail because they're not entering a passcode on a phone. What are we in, Nazi Germany? No, we're not. This is the land of the free for crying out loud. Why in the world do we not have our constitutional rights? We have rights. The Fifth Amendment says we do not have to answer questions. We do not have to do anything which is going to incriminate ourselves. And that means we do not have to unlock a phone. And if the evidence on there is a foregone conclusion, then you can just build your case without it and you can do the best that you can possibly do. And if that's not good enough for you, then go and find a socialist country and go turn it into Nazi Germany and go burn over there because you're either part of the problem or you're a corpse in the gas chambers. This is America. We have a Fifth Amendment Constitution. We have the right to say, no, you cannot unlock my phone. You build your case against me. That's how they caught the guy at the Silk, uh, was it Silk Road? I'm sick of this eroding away of our constitutional rights. Crying out loud. All right, on to some, uh, some of the chief articles here. So Facebook, um, that's not supposed to be the article that's there. There, there we go. That's better. I don't care which one of the two Facebook articles is here as long as we cover one of these, uh, these other two first. All right, so say aloha. Close to look at Facebook's voice in Bitcoin. What? Kitty, shush. Kitty's over there like, dude, he's going on fire. I need that fire extinguisher. All right, so say aloha. A closer look at Facebook's voice ambitions. All right. And so, uh, basically, Facebook is the latest one to move involved in all of the smartphone markets, gathering up all this information and all of this other kind of stuff. And so, uh, do we really need, guys, do we need more of these things? Do we really need any more of these things? Really? We got Google. We got Amazon. I, oh, we got Alibaba, I guess. Xiaomi. I don't know, whatever that one is, whatever else. Um, we have so many of these voice activated things and they're collecting our data and they're storing our data. Do we really want Facebook who's demonstrated incompetency with our individual things here? Do we have any of this kind of stuff? Do we really have any of this kind of stuff? Really? <laughs> now we're just going to give our voice samples to Facebook so they can record it and store it perpetually on the server and use it against us later. Great. Good to know. So, of course, uh, by the way, I, I kicked out the article. I didn't find it, it really worth doing here. What is it with these stupid websites? TechCrunch is a stupid website. Like, I can't highlight stuff. Do weird crap. Anyway, um, Samsung in the Samsung um, Galaxy S9, you cannot disable Bixby anymore. It's just there. They're like, maybe I do have it. I don't know. I might cover that article. Well, I'll say nothing more about it just in case. Um... Also, Facebook, oh, come on, what in the heck is going on? Dude, load my article. We seem to be having technical difficulties right now. It's my entire, I think my entire web browser is crashing on me right now. Hmm. Oh, wait, there it goes. <laughs> I was going to reset the the browser, but there it goes. Kitty came up. Kitty came up with us. Good luck. And he's like, dude, that's crazy. 
All right. Hey, look, speaking of the Galaxy S9, or I guess that's the Note 9, isn't it? I don't know. Well, Facebook is now continuing on its plan. Remember they had, they first had that plan to have the, um, they wouldn't have that plan to put the, uh, the, the little flying blimps in the air above all these developing nations. So, you know, they didn't have food, they didn't have water, but they could have internet so they could get on Facebook. Of course, the danger of this is it's an internet system that is, um, it's an internet system that is, it's kind of like AOL. It was all controlled by them. Um, and uh, with all that being said, uh, with all that being said, they're working on yet another way to bring Wi-Fi to developing countries. Not for these wonderful high ambitions of, of we just got to get the world connected. It's because they've pretty much tapped out the people who can get on Facebook. Those that aren't on Facebook right now don't want to be guilty <laughs> or innocent, <laughs> whichever. Um, no, they're trying to tap these markets so that they have more people to, to, to get on the platform. So that's kind of what they're trying to do. So of course, with the data collection involved in the smart speaker, because we know there's data collection going on in there, um, and, and this having their own, their own internet system, launching this, more data, Facebook is just hoarding data. So, it turns out that, do you guys remember Onova is the VPN controlled by Facebook? They bought it. Um, and uh, the Onova app lets Facebook see how people use their mobile devices. I told you guys that a while back. Um, basically, if you are utilizing this app, any VPN, any VPN you're utilizing, the people controlling that VPN could, in theory, spy on what you're doing. A lot of companies do that, and you have to be careful. A lot of companies do not. So because of this, Apple is pulling this VPN from the App Store. Now, some people, some articles are saying that Facebook is withdrawing. Others are saying that Apple is pulling it. Um, whichever one is the case, I don't know. But regardless, Anova is no longer going to be receiving updates and will not be downloadable from the App Store because they are spying on us through our VPNs. So if you do want a VPN, um, I have two affiliates. I have private internet access. If you are looking for a VPN in um, United States, there is the affiliate link for that is in there. It's tlm.li forward slash PIA. Uh, so this one here, you can get uh, monthly for $7. You can get a two-year for $70. That is a really good, uh, real good deal. Or you can get a yearly one year of it for $40, which ends up being $3.33 a month. So you can actually use the link there, and uh, there will be a link in the description down below. Uh, and there will also be a uh, link in the comment feed over here in the live comments for that, I also have Nord. If you are looking for a VPN that is not in the uh, 14 eyes, Nord is a Panama-based VPN. Uh, I believe both of these do take cryptocurrencies now. Um, so Nord is, uh, I think you can have, I want to say Nord is five simultaneously connected devices. You can get a three-year plan for $100, so 36 months of coverage for $100 a one-year plan for seven or a one-month plan for uh, for 12. And the link for that is tlm.li forward slash Nord. So you can pick, uh, pick that up. All right, so those are the um, those are the VPNs that I would recommend. Let's go ahead and check on into the comments. <clears throat> Oh uh, boy, lots of comments, lots of comment activity. Wow, lots of comment activity. Okay, I think I'm right up here. All right. So like Ubuntu on a second hard drive. Don't have two noses. You don't have two noses? Wow. Let's hope the fleas did not move to the new place. I only saw like one and it got away from me, but... The good thing is, I don't see any on on either one of them right now. Um, I, I uh, did a, a final scrub down of both cats right before moving and then sprayed down everything with that. And then the fact this place has hardwood floors, 
Um, not a good environment for fleas. And it's not excessively humid and, and all that kind of stuff. So this place is not a good place for fleas to survive. And uh, like I said, I saw one. Um, it got away from me. And uh, uh, what I will be doing is doing some very extensive examination. But uh, it's I've noted drastic improvement. Get the cat a cat castle. Eh, no, I don't want to spend money and I don't want the clutter in the house. Maybe I find a cheap one somewhere. I don't know. Who prefers Unity over Gnome? <laughs> I prefer Mac over Gnome. Less echo, too. Yeah, there is a little bit less echo now, which is good. All right. And Kevin's was on your end. Yeah, okay. All right. Good day, Clint. How are you? Good day today. Verizon rolls out unlimited data cap program. Google sued for data location. Windows 95 released as an app. Yes. Yeah, you can now download Windows 95 on Linux. I just thought it was cooler to install it in a virtual box with my OEM software, though. Come on. Okay. Gnome can burn in fire. Win 94 release an app. Yes, Windows 95 released a app today. Yep. It is actually compatible on all major operating systems. H2 hosting. A A2 hosting works for you. Yes, A2 hosting. I hope that's working out well. All right, Tom, thoughts on Steam bringing over Windows 10 games to Linux? Um, yes, I saw it. I may be commenting on that later. I can't remember what I have in the business news coming up. Uh, but yes, I, I, I kind of want to play with that a little bit. How to make your own free VPN. I have an old computer that the screen is broken. It has Ubuntu Studio and it can't run Windows. Um, I have a tutorial on how to do that. So search my, um, search my, uh, channel for the, um, tutorial for doing the, um, uh, creating your own VPNs. So on Unity 7 on top of Ubuntu. Very good. Verizon's dirty, rotten, lying company. I told them years ago where to go. I'd never do any business with Verizon. What self-publishing platform do you use to publish your books? All right. You're giving me an opportunity to plug my books, so I'll be right back. Sit right there, Keith. <clears throat> All right. So my books are actually, I am the publisher. So... The publisher of this is Our Walk in Christ Publishing. That is my publishing company. Um, so the, the world of publishing, and I have this one here. Ooh, there's that one there. So I have The Art of Shallow Neighboring, and I have, this is a parody. This is a root, good, real, serious book. Um, that is, those are both available. Now, Testing on Temptations is... It's still in the final drafting mode. The other one is available. Um, so the publishing world is one where uh, there's a lot of interesting nuances. So I am my own publisher, and you establish that by getting a uh, you establish that by getting a um, uh, an ISPN number because if you look at the ISBN number on the back of a book, it actually contains like five different blocks of data. One of those is the publisher's ID. Now this book does not actually hold my publisher's ID. Um, all future ones going forward do. Um, and if I want to reprint this at all, I will probably go ahead and change the ISBN number. Um, but you need to get that into do to get one of those. You have to buy a block of ISPs from Boker, who is the, um, ISBN, um, um, the company that handles ISBNs for the entire United States. You need to buy a block of ISBN numbers. They assign you a publishing number and then you run from there. Then you also get assigned a account with the library of Congress. So you can assign library of Congress numbers to books. Uh, so you do that, um, and then then it's just a matter of getting everything done. Um, so in my case, um, I do the cover design, interior design, uh, in-house, um, and then you send them out for printing. So I'm using CreateSpace as my printer because um, they have the best rates and their quality, like 
this book is every bit of quality as I would find on any other book. Um, I love the quality. I love the speed. Um, when I place an order, I usually, ha I usually have it in about a week. Um, I've not seen my most recent order ship yet, so I need to check in on that. Um, but uh, yeah, for the most part, the quality is top notch and the price is very good. And I have the ability to, uh, I have the ability to ship those direct to bookstores, direct to anybody else. So that's kind of what you do is you do that. So if you want information on either of these, actually you want to go to my website, Our Walk in Christ. So tlm.li forward slash O-W-I-C. Um, I hope I just dropped that in there. If I didn't drop that in there, just, yep, there it is. Okay. <laughs> I was like. Did I put that in there? Yes, I did. All right, so that's the thing. So I am not using um, a self-publishing platform anymore. The reason I am not is when I released this the first time, I went with a self-publishing platform. It costs $1,400 and I only get $1 commission when a book sells. Using my own publisher, I do all the design and stuff myself, which is really only takes a couple weeks time. If you're dedicating eight hour days, it would take you one or two days to finalize all of the interior design. And then my commissions on these are five, six dollars. So that's why you don't use self-publishing platforms. Damien Six, greetings. Hello again. Thanks for the information. I self-hope lamp server on Raspberry Pi for $35. Yeah. There's an option for you too, Noah. If uh, you want to pick up, uh, you know, pick up a um, um, a Raspberry Pi for pretty cheap, you can do that. You can build out a lamp stack on that. So the left only issue of is uh, port forwarding. Oh, stupid router. Huh? When two gig out of four gig RAM taken up by a Linux distro, bad or not? Um, well, one point two gigs for a distro. Uh, that's the higher end that you'd find that in cinnamon. You'd find that in gnome. Um, Budgie's going to be around 800. Matei's around 800. Um, XSCE, you're going to find between uh, three and 500, maybe, depending on the distro. Also, have VPN on Raspberry Pi, Tor Endurance Node, Pi Hole, WordPress, email. Very cool, man. Awesome. Raspberry Pi is amazing, what you can do with it. <clears throat> Or $10 phone off eBay for save or smash. It won't be my daily phone unless it's surprisingly good. Yeah, Verizon thro Throttle Firefighters data. One of the reasons why they may roll out such a program. Yep. Voice is already cracking. <laughs> From the last two weeks. Oh, I didn't watch it the last couple of weeks, man. Uh-oh. Go over to Amazon and give you a shiny review of your books in the next few days. Well, thank you. Well, wait, obviously, wait on testing and temptations until the um, uh, wait on testing and temptations until the new one is is actually available on Amazon. Hopefully, it won't take more than another week or so. The kitty is back as the star of the show. Yeah, I'm always the star of the show. I'm the best one here. That's right, kitty. <sighs> Just accidentally found my way to your stream. YouTube didn't send me a notification. I know, DestroTube. That's why I do things. I, I, I try and push out the things as soon as I know they're coming out. And I try to um, I try to keep a regular schedule. Google's another one violates the fourth, fifth amendment. Yep. Wish I could join the Google lawsuit. Yeah. Greetings, Metal Lord. How are you? Started learning how to become a privacy and security activist. Very good. Very cool, man. Very cool. Hard to hoard data when I don't do Facebook. Yep. But you also, though, you also, though, have to block it on your host files or do other things to prevent them falling around. Oh, are people leaving Steam? What's going on? I missed, I must have missed a comment. Pokemon Go still thing? Yes. <laughs> Hashtag Pokemon stop. Uh, yeah, I need, I need to do some things with Pi Hole. I really do. 
Um, I have a SanDisk MB3 player that I bought years ago, still working. Yep, I love it. I love them. Pokemon, no. <laughs> nice. Didn't a lot of people playing that get in trouble for trapsing around? Yes. Pikachu is something to pick up. <laughs> Toilet paper. <laughs> Uh, hello, Mark. Greetings. No man, no, no man, just no. That's not cool. Can't wait for smart cars playing Pokemon Go. Oh boy. I think it was only a matter of a week before somebody died in a car wreck causing playing Pokemon Go, or at least cause a car wreck. I mean, a true GNU Linux operating system easily install an Android type of phone without using the rotten command line. Yeah. When Go was big, I used my mom's phone to download it at a module lure, put a Pokemon where the lure was for lure tax Pokemon. I made more than $70 off of selling cheap chips and snacks. Nice. Keep in mind to split the money with my brother. Otherwise, I would have had $140. Yeah, there you go. That, that's enter, enter, uh, enterprising. You're going to be a good entrepreneur someday, man. 190 proof alcohol is pure ethanol. No, I mean, no, pure alcohol is 200 proof, but 190 is the most you can get alcohol without using chemical extraction. So 190 is the most, the, the highest proof that is human consumption. Yep. Yep. Drank enough float to float the whole Navy, yep. Moonshine. <laughs> Moonshine. Don't like to taste beer because I never had a real beer. No. I don't try, like to taste beer because it's nasty. You have to drink it multiple times over and get drunk off it before you can like the taste of it. Uh, don't drink any less though either. Okay, you said beer tastes urine. You've tasted urine? <laughs> okay, I think once or twice a summer might have one Guinness dark. There you go. Pass code for smartphones. Yet large cell companies fail to protect against SIM swapping. Yep. My reminder just popped up. Woohoo! Welcome, Mugen. Greetings. Q1 Fiend, greetings. Uh, Q1 Fiend, I sent you your Think Life Media access. Let me know if you have problems getting in there. It's not good craft now, then. That's about it. Europe, yes. Most of Europe does have a lower drinking age. I know 16 in Germany. I have a friend, I have a friend from uh, Germany. and see. Drinking almost two years ago. Beer is okay. 200 proof would be 100. 90 would be 95%. Yeah. Uh, don't even drink coffee. All right. This is horrible. So many better beers out there. I don't know. Okay. You guys are going to have a fight over what beers are better, but I'm just nasty. I don't know. Last time, watch your blood pressure, but fire, fire, fire. <laughs> Not like the 80s people. Animal House was a movie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, one on fire. All right. Yeah, some of you guys, you may have never seen the fire screen. That's the fire screen. For us, red. Okay. Got all my time favorite. Okay. Let's see. Fourth, fifth amendment are absolutely clear on this. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we're on passcode because you need to have the phone to use the passcode. If I do get my phone, that's why I have a passcode. Yeah. I need to run for office. I'd probably start a war. See, Germany has more freedom than the U.S. You can drive faster you want in Germany. We're referring to as communism. Yeah. I specifically said Nazi Germany. Putting the good green screen to use. Yep. Very good. Considering all the stupid things people do when drunk, I don't know why anyone would want to drink. That's the thing. That's true. You know, and that's the reality of it. Headed for that way, Tom. Okay. Police forces run amok. They've long since gone rogue. Yep. 
drinking, just do it with moderation. I'll give it out. So like no, no 10 to 15 seconds of pure power funnel 190 proof. I mean, Trump is making America great again. Just America and does not let him do his job. Uh, We want to want Bixby when you already have Google Assistant. I don't know why you'd want either. Hot tea is better. That's what I got. Hot tea right here. Hmm. Brought up on sweet tea. Must be from the South. Okay. Southerners like sweet tea or water. Yep, there you go. I called it from the South. I'm slightly cultured. Bought the Nord subscription and scrubbed with Bitcoin. Very good, man. Very cool. Very cool. It's Tor proxy I do. It's free and works for me. I use Tor on my phone. Live in the swamps of Louisiana. There you go. I got to go visit the swamps of Louisiana. I've been through Louisiana. I just haven't been through the swamps. Do, 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 do. Okay, if your only options were Windows 10 or Mac OS and money was an issue, Linux was an option, which would you choose? Uh, Windows, uh, because it's still a good system. Uh, and then I would go into my router and block all of their telemetry crap. Why Mint 19 or MX 17? Ooh, I don't know. That's it depends on what you're doing. I mean, I would go with the Mint, but um, MX is really good. Set up my own VPN to use at school to get around the fact that everything is blocked. Yeah, you set it up at home and they won't know to block your home VPN. <laughs> you just need to be make friends with, with the IT at the school and have them whitelist your channel. Tell them your educational videos. From I mean, literally, if you go in and you say, you know, I do educational videos and you show them some of your videos where you're really seriously doing educational stuff on Linux as a student of the school, I bet they will whitelist your channel. Schools love that kind of stuff. I would try it. Um, maybe get uh, some of your teachers that, that are really good guys to back you up. Oh Lord, so many comments, so many comments, people, so many comments. Uh, Steve's very own, greetings. Sue the lawyers for lack of, lack of representation. Okay. Do favor Mint, okay, I don't have done anything with Debian in a while, I should though. Yeah, I, I like Debian. I generally stay in Debian, you know. Okay, can we get some thumbs up? Thumbs up, man, thumbs up. Wiping KDE Neon clean right now, all right. Yeah, I could make an extension called Support Pizza 11 Nerd, which would put banner ads on any video made by me. That way people can support me without donating. There you go. <laughs> iApple is not I happy with eFacebook, yeah. How do you install Manjaro? I've had a hard time. I haven't, I mean, I don't recall having an issue with it. I don't know. Yep. One of the pizza chains to come out with pizza design. Yeah, there you go. It's got to be, it has to be Little Caesars because everybody knows if Pizza Love and Nerd comes on here. We got to say pizza, pizza. I don't think I said pizza, pizza yet. So pizza, pizza. It's got to be Little Caesars. 
Let's all like let's all all send messages to Little Caesar saying you gotta support this guy's channel and go pizza pizza. I'm gonna draw it right now, and I love it. Yeah, Linux turned 27 years old. Nine, uh, 91 Blueprint was born. Yep. Bow boy, greetings. Nice videos. Thanks for your help. I appreciate it, man. Thanks. Okay. Okay, switch to Linux, great show. Thank you, Paul. Appreciate it, man. Uh, I watched Open Media Vault video, decided to build a NAS, use the XT4 for your file system, why do you use the XT over the other ones? Um, I use EXT4. Here's it, it's it has to do with uh, with forward compatibility. I use EXT4 um because it's the system that works best with any Linux system. It's going to support Lux encryption. Um, it's going to uh, it's going to support the ability to make the backups better on the USB drives. There's just a lot of things with it. And if something goes goofy with a system, I can pull those drives, put it in any Linux distro, and they can read it. That's why I went with it. Um, the XT4 is just kind of standard for Linux. That's why I went with it. By mass, I don't have to worry about a face reveal. That's actually a really good idea, pizza. Just wear a ski mask. Um, Paul R. Reed. Yes, and hello. Everybody say hello to Paul, by the way. Get a mask with your logo. Yep, you could indeed. Can printer work okay? Scanner two. How to search for light drivers though? HD that holds my slash home is broken. So boot on an MX other drive till I get the data off and broke the drive before it totally dies. Yep. Hello Andrew and happy Friday to you. My apologies if I skip your comments. I gotta like I mean it's there's so many comments right now and I want to get to the next section. Usual remote support and content curation. All right. What are your thoughts on Linux turning 27 and the road it took to get to this point? I really don't have thoughts on it. Well, thank you, Andrew. I appreciate that. Not just great show. It's the best show. Appreciate it, man. Okay, Guy Fox mask. Yeah, there you go. Do the Guy Fox mask instead, man. That would be cooler. I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't. It might. I don't know. Well, let's go ahead and jump over to security news. Security. All right. First in security, T-Mobile. They had a 2.3 million user hack this week. Was it 2.3 million? I think it was a 2.3 million. Is either 2.3 million or 23 million. Uh, so basically on August 20th, so just a couple days ago, um, cybersecurity team discovered and shut down an unauthorized access on certain information, including yours. Um, so basically uh, they did not take any credit card numbers, social security numbers, passwords, but they got everything else like all your your private you know all your mailing information all your all that kind of stuff um billing zip code phone number email address account number account type prepaid post type um i'm sorry those were the things not included um social security numbers were not there okay okay yes here this is the information that was leaked um Personal information may have been exposed, which is the name, bill, and zip code, phone number, email address, account number, and account type, prepaid or post type. So um, millions and millions. So if you're on T-Mobile, sorry, probably all leaked. Um, not sure what we can do about that. I had three. What's the last one? Uh, 
Okay. Say what? Really? Okay. Uh, the next one, Belkin. So, of course, Belkin has these IoT smart plugs. Um, so, here's the smart plug. You know, like, what's the point? Like, ooh, I think I left my lamp on. Let me go into my smartphone and turn it off. That's like the only use case I can think of these stupid things. Why do you need an internet connected plug, people? Why do we need an internet connected plug? Ooh, plug in, plug it in the network. Really? We need an internet connected plug. Well, anyway, this internet connected plug apparently had a really big security vulnerability that would allow anybody to get into this plug and then from there take over everything else on your network. Maybe it serves you right for using a smart plug. I'm still trying to remember like, ooh, I'm coming home now. So let's turn on the lights before I get there as you die in a car crash trying to turn on your lights from your smartphone. Dude, that's why they put switches right inside the door. Or you get a timer. It'll turn on automatically for you. There's a shocking thing. Oh, Lordy. So if you happen to have one of these stupid things, kill it with fire. This just makes me cry. Not only the full face advertisement that my system is blocking, Fortnite is giving is having a giveaway if you enable two-factor authentication. Now, fortunately, it does not require the phone, which is you should never use your phone for two-factor authentication. I actually called my bank who wanted me to use the phone number for two-factor authentication and didn't give me any other option. I'll use another secondary email address, fine but I'm not using a phone number. I actually called the bank and made them remove that requirement from my account. I'm probably the only person at my bank that does not have two-factor authentication with the cell phone number because it's too easy to steal. It's too easy to steal somebody's phone number. So Fortnite though is having a giveaway. If you enable two-factor authentication, apparently you get an emoji of this guy dancing. Does anybody know what this is about? We have reached sheer Fortnite stupidity, people. Sheer Fortnite stupidity. I'm going to go ponder this for a Fortnite, okay? Really. Um, so enable two-factor authentication now to get the... Dancing emoji? They're calling it the boogie down dance emote. We have become a society of incompetent children. We have to be coaxed and you're turning on two-factor authentication with a dancing emoji. For the love of God, what is going on with people in our world? Holy crap. Well, that's security news. Before we get back to the comments, I'll remind you, you can check out um, my paid support system at thinklifemedia.com. Even if you are not interested in financially supporting the channel, this is a good place to go because it will give you updates on all of my channels uh, will automatically appear. Whatever is the last video will appear right here in, uh, in the feed. Um, this is ad supported unless you are um, unless you are logged in. If you are logged into the site, then the ads will disappear. Um, and check out Western Mountain Web Design, which is also me. That's the uh, creation end of it. Um, you can check out the affiliates up here on the affiliate link if you are looking for any types of services. And if you have types of services you'd like me to look into for affiliates. Let me know. I will look at adding some things. Right now I have four web hosting. You'll notice that I don't have things. This just kind of bothered me the other day. I was watching, um, I was watching, I think it was a Roberto Blake video, um, who has a lot of decent information. But I think unfortunately the guy is too focused on money um, to a degree because he's telling people about like web hosts specifically. He's like, you like to use Bluehost because they give really high really high rates, but Bluehost is a crappy, crappy, crappy company. I would not recommend my enemies get Bluehost. It sucks. 
I don't care how good their commission is. And FYI, I think I still have an affiliate link for them from back like five, 10 years ago. And I've emailed them like several times to delete it because I'm not interested in drawing business to them. They still haven't done it. And I still keep getting their crappy emails despite I told them not to. I don't care if they're giving me more royalties. I have picked these four companies because I've used them. I've not used InMotion, but people, other people I greatly respect in the industry do say they are good. I have used the other ones and they are good. I don't care that I get lower commissions for pointing you to A2 hosting or SiteGround. They're good. You know, you don't get at Bluehost, a free SSL. They don't support Let's Encrypt or Komodo free SSLs. And that means that your site is automatically downranked by Google unless you pay them an extra $70 for an SSL. That's why I recommend these hosting companies. Uh, VPNs, I have two VPNs I'm recommending, Private Internet Access, Nord, and of course you can use uh, Amazon to shop. So you can check out that site at thinklifemedia.com. Also you can check out my Patreon page, uh, patreon.com forward slash Tom M if you are interested over there. And also don't forget there is the shop, shop.switch2linux.com. I do have very nice stainless steel water bottles. Uh, which I have this, I have the uh, cats and tinfoil hats, and I have a switch to Linux, you fool. And I think I might also have this up to the cat. Um, I do also have the switch to Linux mouse pad. If you are interested in any of those, check out shop.switch2linux.com. Alrighty. Let's see, Linux Mint 18.3 over Cinnamon 19. Yes, I would stick on Linux Mint 18.3 right now. I just think there's a lot of bugs in the in the um, uh, 18.04 core base of Ubuntu, which 19 Linux Mint 19 is based on, but 18.03 is still based on Ubuntu 16, which is rock solid. Um, I'd stick with 18, and I'm sticking with 18.3 on all my devices as well. Comes up at root and my username are missing. Maybe I'll try to add a user. Yeah, if you can get it in as root, you can do anything you need. Didn't like Mint 19 until I found a forum post showing how to add the old uh, MetaCity window themes back on. All right. T-Mobile, who wants to merge with Sprint. There you go. E3 is much more stable. Yep. That is the day I had trouble with my network. <laughs> oh boy. I'm coming home and I'm, I'm coming home, I'm coming home. Tell the world I'm coming home. <laughs> Wi-Fi connected surge protector because I want it for free. I don't even have it connected to the Wi-Fi, just plugged in. Yep, there you go. Uh, smart devices equal stupid people. Only have 200 characters, so I can't give complex answers. Yeah. Alan Blake, greetings. Proton Mail for uh, or VPN sent me an ad relating to Amazon Prime immediately after I installed the Prime Video app on my phone. Really? Send you an ad relating to Amazon Prime. Immediately after I installed the Prime Video app on my phone. Hmm. I have to see info on that. That's scary. Welcome screen forcing to do things in their order. If I wanted that, I'd use Windows. <laughs> Your bank hates you, darn straight. I got BB&T's nerves, but at least they respect me now. There you go. The internet connected plug. LOL, dancing guy for your data. OMG, CJ, sign me up for Mars, will you? All right. Anna Rita, I will be in contact with you about the Mars application. Thank you, CJ. All right. Apparently the cat has spoke. Get a separate SIM card just for authentication. Yeah, you could do that. That would be interesting. 
Or, but, however, your cellular carrier might still send it. I don't know. Boogie Down is in the Bronx. I am suing BBT. Make no mistake about it. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I, I have heard they are absolutely horrible to work with, so I chose not to do any business over there. Two-factor isn't to protect the customer. It's to protect the, the back by blaming the customer for any problems with the account. Yep. Yeah. Reason I want to run on my phone is not because I want to play it, but because it's a good test for the specs. Good enough. The cat is laying right next to the microphone, purring. Had me at home cooking hacks. Very good. The next home cooking hacks video I will be editing and releasing is the cheese crackers. We have all the footage and it's good. It's just that came up right at the time I had to start moving. So hopefully I will be on schedule with that starting next week. I don't remember. What is the weekend right now? Uh, I'm, spoke, well, I'm supposed to do first and third Mondays is what I have on the schedule. That actually gives me a week and a half, but I might do it early. Or maybe I'll change it to second and uh, second and fourth. Who knows? Roberto Blake said to use Bluehost. Yep, that's no bueno. And that's the thing, you know. It's like I, I care. I care about the fo my followers. I'm not going to send my followers to somebody just because they give me the most money. That itself is the epitome of what is wrong with affiliate marketing. That's why Genesis themes is the, one of the biggest themes in WordPress, and it's the crappiest theme in WordPress. Never use Genesis. It's horrible, horrible system. But it made its way so big because of all this affiliate marketing and people fluffing it up as the best thing ever, and it sucks. Trust me, I am a core WordPress developer. It's what I do. I build everything from scratch. Studio Press, which Genesis is out of, is horrid. No toss yet. Uh -oh. Private Internet Access or Nord? Yeah, and there's other good ones too, but... Um, those are the ones that, that I'm recommending at this point in time. I've used SiteGround, Namecheap, highly recommended. SiteGround is well worth it. SiteGround is absolutely amazing. Um, the only reason I went with A2 for my uh, VPS servers over them is they had a little bit more... Um, they had a little bit more functionality in the VPS end. So if you want a VPS, A2 hosting is way better. If you want shared hosting, uh, SiteGround is way better. That's why I recommend both of those. Where can I review Western Mountain Web? I want to give a review about how he was set up a domain with you. Um, I don't really have anywhere where you can send a review. <laughs> Actually, though, if you send me some blurb or something, I'll add it to the, to the review testimonials. Just shoot me an email or something, either on Skype or email or whatever else, and I'll, I'll add it to my rotation. Because if you go to my the main webpage for the site, uh, testimonials will rotate on the front. Um, so um, that's it. WTW is Western Mountain Web. Western Mountain Web is my web design company. I've been working on updating a couple things, but um, yeah, so this is actually my web design company. So if you are looking for a website, you know, this is this is my professional field, professional career at this point in time. So I mostly do WordPress stuff, but um, there's other ones like, you know, this one was a really nice one. This is um, uh, Catch and Magic Vacations. It's a um, uh, like a uh, Disney vacation um, system. They actually manage all this themselves now. I just hand it over to them and hand to them videos about how to work it. And then, uh, you know, so we kind of put all this stuff together. Each of these give us nice pop outs. Um, it tells me it's unavailable because of the, um, uh, the, it's the status on my network with blocking uh, some third party apps. Those actually do work. Here we added this thing here where we can allow or deny Google Analytics cookies, things like that. So. Uh, there's that red falcon run um this is a uh this is actually a a free to play game um last i knew on linux you had to use google chrome you might be able to use firefox now 
Um, there also is a cash prize if you are a competitor. Um, there is a list of states that are and are not allowed to compete um, because of different uh, gaming laws in those states. But uh, uh, this site here, it's actually insanely difficult, um, uh, which, but it's, it's pretty fun. So basically you have a ship and you have to go around the, um, go around this terrain, show, shoot all the other ships and things like that. Um, I did the main website coding. Other guys did some other portions. So uh, that is that is my um, website business there. So <clears throat> okay, do those hosters allow CGI? I think they do. Um, I'm pretty sure they do. And they used to. CGI is is a little outdated in some places, but I'm pretty sure they, in fact, I'm pretty sure they guarantee they would because they never update their servers. Costs too much. User then re-added it. I can log in and off of desktops. There you go. Bluehost, my subdomains don't display after I convert to SSL. I will start over on A2 when I get a chance. <laughs> That's the type of stuff I'm talking about, man. They suck. They were good until EIG bought them. Any web hosting company that is an EIG company, you avoid like the plague. Hmm. If you were sharing configs, every desktop one probably got corrupted. Yeah, Proton Mail stating VPN supports video streaming on Amazon. Cool. Toss in 18 minutes. No, WordPress is not garbage. WordPress is only garbage if you do not maintain it. It's like it's like Windows XP. It was great if you maintained it. If you didn't maintain it, it's not. Um, let's see. Searched open office download, got a bunch of MS office crap. If you're on Linux, Noah, just install LibreOffice. Sudo apt, in, uh, sudo apt install LibreOffice. Easiest way to learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Um, there was, just find some online tutorials on it. Uh, there was one at a university. I, I'll find it on my other computer and send it over to you if I still have it, uh, if it still exists. That was really the, it's just find a couple online tutorials and start with that. Uh, start with the HTML, build into CSS, and do JavaScript last. CSS, I think, is the easiest, but you need to understand HTML to make it work. Thoughts on Kali Linux? Seems an advanced Linux just a resource I should be using, just don't know why. Well, Kali Linux is, it's specifically penetration software. That's what it is. So if you're looking, if you're a hacker looking to learn hacking skills, that's the, that's one of the distros that you use for that. Precious wife just walked in the living room, says surprise, and hands me chocolate chip cookies. Ooh, more recipes. Yeah, I'll get those cheese crackers up soon. House is secured in WordPress. If you stay on top of it, it's good. Um, what WordPress themes do you recommend? Nothing from Theme Forest. Uh, theme Forest, you get excessively bloated themes with paid plugins, if you do not pay, the constant things will be constant hack targets. Um, every site I've controlled that has been hacked, in fact, the only sites I've ever controlled that have been hacked, it's been Revolution Slider or Visual Composer is what let hackers in. Um, so I, that's why I started building my own WordPress themes custom ground out. That's what I do. No HTML, but not CSS. Yeah, pick up CSS. CSS is, is dirt simple. 
Um, just look up some online tutorials on it. I used uh, CSS Made Easy. It was a book back in those days. You have to rewatch this The college. I started at Thursday, sent me Chromebook, and I just got Linux running on it. Very nice, very nice. Webflow, I'm in love with it. With your site ground, you have to do hosting and domain registration through them, so you can't do Webflow. If you're with SiteGround, you have, you have to do hosting and domain registration through them, so you can't do Webflow. What? All right, let's go ahead and get to the last topic because I think Toss will be on soon. So our last one we are talking about is business news. We got some corporatocracy coming up, yo. Of course, corporatocracy, if you're new around here, corporatocracy is when our governments aren't control of this stuff, the companies are. So first, important updates regarding your apps with Windows 8X phones and 8, 8.1 packages to the Windows Store. Uh-uh, no more no-goes. Um, as of October 31st, it will stop accepting new app submissions to Windows Phone 8 or Windows 8 in 8.1 packages. So any of those uh, systems, those are going to be phased out. July 1st, 2019, they'll stop distributing apps. And then July 1st, 2023, it will stop distributing any app updates on Windows 8 and 8.1 devices. Because, you know, got to kill those operating systems and those old phones. Got to get them people off of them stuff and on other things. All right. Uh, this one here. Let me zoom this article in because uh, it's a little small there. All right. So, um, Steam, we reported on this last week, but now it's official and released. So, Steam has been working to port a whole lot more Windows compatibility. So, I'm anxious to give this a try. Uh, if you guys do have Steam going on Windows uh, because you can get some of your Windows games running on Linux, give this a try and see if this is working. So um, as of today, they're releasing the beta of a new improved version of Steam Play to all Linux users. It includes a modified distribution of Wine called Proton to provide compatibility with Windows game titles. Here are some of the improvements it brings to the table. Windows games with no Linux version currently available can now be installed and run directly from the Steam client, complete with native Steamworks or OpenVR support. DirectX 11 and 12 implementations are now based on Vulkan, resulting in improved game compatibility and reduced performance impact. Full screen support has been improved. Full screen games will be seamlessly stretched through uh, to the desired display without interfering with the native monitor resolution or requiring use of virtual desktop. Improved game controller support. Games will automatically recognize all controllers supported by Steam. Expect more out-of-the-box controller compatibility than ever and performance with multi-threaded games. So here is, I guess, a list of games... Okay, I read them. <laughs> Just didn't read them out loud. So that's something to keep an eye out for if you're into into gaming on Steam. See if that uh, is something that works for you. Oh, no, I'm not disabling my ad blocker that I'm not running. I'm not running an ad blocker, actually. All right. Um, so now you can buy a subscription model for Xbox. Really? Did we need a subscription model for Xbox? This is a throwback to the old, I don't know how they were in Europe or anything, but this is a throwback to the old United States cell carrier plans. For a two year, for a two year contract, we're gonna give you your device. Well, this nice two year contract, it gives you the console, Game Pass, and Xbox Live. And this is, the price is $22 a month. Um, and let's see, uh, for the Xbox One S and $35 a month for the Xbox X, uh, Xbox One X. Please somebody tell me what those are. I don't know. I'm not sure I care, but we may as well attempt to cover it. So anyway, two, $22 a month locked into a two-year contract and they're going to send you the Xbox 
give you Game Pass and Xbox Live. I don't know. Here's the problem with subscription services. It does, it's like, it's like borrowing, borrowing on your house to buy, buy an investment. You don't take risk into account. You get three months into this thing and then you lose your job. Now you're locked into be giving Microsoft $22 a month for a game system while your family starves. I don't know. This is, we don't need more things like this. If you can't afford your Xbox, maybe you don't need one right now. If you got to put your Xbox in a subscription service plan, maybe you don't need one right now. I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't know. More crap going on here. So of course, of course, as the ISPs lobby the FCC to get rid of the net neutrality rules, they'll say, guys, the FTC will take care of this. Now the lobbies are asking the FTC to just not look the other way. Guys, don't worry about it. Competition's gonna take care of this. The two most corrupt, incompetent, foolish ISPs in the world who don't overlap with each other at all, probably collude to price fix. The FCC, we don't need the FCC to regulate us. We got the FTC. Now they're asking the FTC to not regulate them. Can we break these companies up yet, please? They're just too big. There's no competition. This is called a monopoly. It's supposed to be illegal. Let's just break this crap up. Really, just break this crap up. Break it up, break it up. And our last article, um, this is a, there's a new um, facial recognition software being deployed at Dulles uh, Airport and it already picked someone up. It's only been deployed for like two or three days or something. Um, so this is kind of scary. I'm not sure why this is in business. It should be under privacy. I think it originally was and I had a hiccup in the system. But basically, you know, this, this new facial recognition software, it's coming in here and just doing all sorts of other fun, jazzy stuff. And I don't know, man, this is just screwy. We need to, we need to do away with some of this crap, you know? Um, it's good they caught this guy. Uh, basically, he was trying to, um, he's trying to get through, uh, he was from, I think he was from Brazil and he was trying to get through on a French ID, uh, French fake ID. It was a real ID. It's just had a, you know, he had forged a photo on it or something. So yeah, the facial recognition software is now being used in several different locations just to track all of us, make sure all of us are going or who we say we are, et cetera, et cetera. And guys, privacy is, ugh. This is just getting bad. This is actually why I started wearing a hat and sunglasses in public anymore. It's just getting crazy. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Hmm. Any solution for opening LibreOffice documents with Word without anything messing up and vice versa? Uh, generally, they don't. The, the biggest issue you typically have is the fonts because the fonts do not generally overlap between the two. So I actually have a video on my channel. You can learn, you can search for it in the LibreOffice videos where uh, I'm gonna showing you how to set it up. Basically, I'm showing you how to set up your Windows fonts on LibreOffice because it's easier to do. And so pretty much as long as you have the Windows fonts installed on your computer, you shouldn't have any issues. I mean, it's super advanced documents maybe, but generally you wouldn't have any issues um, opening documents up. HTML goodies plus the, plus the com is a good site to learn HTML, CSS, and all that. All right, get bullied at school a lot, so maybe I can make people think I'm a super hacker. If they mess with me, I'll delete their Fortnite account. Mm -hmm. uh, don't do that, man. That's... Uh, you're, you're too smart of a kid to land yourself in jail for hacking. Don't do that. Um, but there's nothing wrong with putting on an air. I mean, I was, I was constantly teased and bullied. Um, I just started making people scared of me. Of course, I, I wasn't a nice person back then. Um, I did find out after graduation that most of the school was afraid of me. So that's, I don't know if they stopped 
because of that or if they grew up. But uh, just, you know, just it's all right, man. It's all right. Um, become decent friends with several of your teachers and then they're going to believe you over them if it comes to comes to something like that. Use in a live environment. Okay. Free code camp is a nice resource. Yep. What is WordPress? WordPress is a web publishing platform. Organization to help special needs babies is having a free day tomorrow at the zoo. They invited us. Very good. Very cool. Tried that, but I got a bunch of emails of unsubscribed twice. Right. WordPress Onion site that has not been hacked. Yeah, yeah, WordPress, okay, WordPress is very secure unless you do stupid things with it. It's like a browser. If you go on and you just start installing a bunch of random plugins for a bunch of crap, yeah, you're going to have problems. You have to use it like you use a system. You got to keep it clean. You got to stay up on security. Um, and you got to do more security than you would do with your computer because it's out there as an open, accessible website inviting traffic. You have to stay more up on, on the security on that. Um, and, and the reality is a lot of people just don't know how to run it. And this is kind of WordPress's double-edged sword is they've tried to sell themselves kind of like as a competitor to, to Wix or Squarespace where they're like, use our platform and then utilizing our platform um, you know, utilizing our platform will get you, you know, you can build your own website. And the reality is, no, an amateur can't go on there and build a good Word, WordPress website. And, but they build themselves as such. And so they end up with a whole lot of people installing this system, never keeping up on updates, filling it full of plugins. And then you wonder why it goes bad. I mean, it's, it's the same thing as your computer. If you just start downloading a bunch of stuff, adding things to it, it's going to get slow. It's going to get compromised. You're going to have issues. You're going to have problems. It's the same way. Steam is helping kill MS. There you go. That's good. Tried cyber, but I just blocked them and they could do nothing about it. Yep. Show them the simple Linux terminal command and that'd freak them out. That's right. Actually, pizza, here's something fun you might do. I don't know. Depending on which phone you get, um, one of the cool things about the Nexus 5X, it actually supports um, it supports NetHunter. Kali for your phone, complete with Linux terminals. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Um, don't bring the laptop to school, but use the Android terminal with the command tree. Yeah. Don't forget this too, Pizza. All those guys that are teasing you now are going to have to come begging you for a job later because you're going to be the one successful in their group. <laughs> Works better. The streaming was an entire minute of lag in the house streaming. Wow. To hear they send emails so I'm on, on Floss Talk, they're not 100% free as they say they are. Rent a console, yeah. If I want to rent a console, I'd go to Aaron's rental place. If this works with Windows apps as well. I have App Game Kit and Game Guru, but only App Game Kit has a Linux version. Not sure, <clears throat> just buy the console, it's cheaper than renting. You break it, you still have to pay every month. Yep. Hello, Maverick. How are you? Xbox One S is the slower version of Xbox X. Okay. PS4, PS4 Pro. I didn't know there was a PS4 Pro. Come on, man. I am, I am video game challenged. Subscription to Nintendo Switch on a Nintendo Network for 20 months. Huh. Ready for fire. Tom hates crap cast. Yep. Concast. How about con crap? There you go. Get a job that you can buy a console. Or pay your subscription. <laughs> Don't 
Lost my place again. There we go. I missed it. <laughs> Good. Well, thanks, guys. I missed it. All right. Hate airport x-ray scanners. I don't want to be radiated. Yep. All right. FCC. I, I must have missed something that was going on. I don't know. <laughs> FCC interferes with TV reception of people get cable TV, which I can't afford. Yep. Libre is for ages now, providing all you need. Yep. I mean, I would love to just stick with Arial, but Windows makes, uh, or Word rather, makes Calibri the default. Formatting seems to be tied to a printer. Hmm. Message deleted by Google. I think he just typed it. Hated One has a great video on Mabel's divisionary war on hackers after being split up. Use FCC to block obscene material. Okay. I think everyone gets bullied at some stage of school. It's hazing fun for them. Or be afraid to stand up for yourself, but don't do anything stupid. Yeah. Boys like trolls ignore them and they go somewhere else for their sick fun. Yeah. Now, about then, when you as a person a lot today, I think the world of you at Tom Roscular has brought you very far. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, testimony to that. I cuss like a dirty sailor and point people away from God. It's God's sense of humor. I'm a Christian author now. No! <laughs> oh, boy. All right. In the summer, I came from a bunch of roasts. Wow. Toss is live. All right. Good day when the world. Yeah, yeah, yep. I think I got the just what you're saying. Remember when bullies tell a lot of lies. Yeah. NetHunter was the Wi-Fi hacking distro, wasn't it? It's, it's pretty much a full collie distro. For a phone. Yeah, it looks like Toss is live. Let me go find a link for Toss. And we'll all go raid his stream. Okay, and see if there's anything else real important here. See, Kitty knew what was coming up. Facebook wants you to believe that you're the user, so you just get used. All right. Think about setting up a Hackintosh on your computers. No, I hate Mac. I have one Mac for the things that I need a Mac for. I would never waste my time on a Hackintosh. No, I don't think Hackintosh is illegal. It's certainly frowned upon by Apple, but I don't think it's illegal. All right, yep, we're going to go ahead, uh, for those guys still sticking around, we're going to go ahead and end the stream right, and then we're all going to go and, and raid Toss's stream. So, of course, to end a stream right, people, if you are new here, we end the stream right by feeding a kitty kitty. That's right, kitty. You ready? You ready for your feeding? Oh, boy. There you go. There you 
go. I don't have enough room on the desk right now to get the paw going, so we'll just have to do that. There you go. Yeah, we, are they finger licking good? They are finger licking good. See that? Thoughts on Netflix, iTunes news. I had no idea Apple was siphoning 30%. Yes, I, Apple take, siphons 30% off everything. I think uh, Netflix has did a funny thing, and I applaud them for it. All right, guys, we are jumping on over to Toss's stream. So let's all go raid Toss's stream all at once. Pause that over there. I'm going to go ahead and stop there.